Sir, hi, Dios. This is Mr. Bill. And I welcome you to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to solve one of the problems from Math Paper 2, Grade 9. And that question is basically one says. So let's look at this problem. Given that A is equal to T I M C S and B is equal to T E R M Y, C is equal to A B S W E R. Let's create this information in the Venn diagram. So then how do you illustrate this information in the Venn diagram? So the first thing that you have to do is you have to list these sets. So set A, you write them where you can easily see the elements. So now, what you need to do is you find the intersection set of A, B, A intersection B. You simply check the intersection set is simply a set of elements that are common in two given sets or three given sets. So, what are the common elements here? We have a T, we have M, what else? That's all. So that is the intersection site of M. Then the intersection site of A and C. We simply check what's common in these two sets. S is actually common. A and C. I is there, there's no I here. M, there's no M here. C, there's no C here. S is there and there. So the intersection site of A and, B, A and C is actually S. But then is the intersection site of B and C. So we write B, intersection C. You check, <coughs> these are the two sites. Why else we want to pick the common elements? So we check, T, we don't have T here. E is here, we don't have, there is T. Okay, so, is common there. What else is common in these sets? Uh, R, E, R. What what other light is common in these two sets? Right, so that's all. So those are the common elements in these two sets. After you found the common elements, you can now say A intersection B intersection C. In this case, we're going to identify the elements that are common in all of the three sets. So we check them. T is there, T is there, there's no T here. I, there's no I here, there's no I here. M, M, there's no M there. And then C, there's no C here, there's no C here. S, there's S here, there's no S. And there's not S there. So the intersection site of the three sets has no element. It's actually an empty set. So here we'll leave this part the way it is. Then A intersection B here, we're going to indicate T and M. Then A intersection C, it's here, that is S. Then B intersection C. That is E and R. Uh, so we can now check if this is A, and out of there we have actually indicated STM. STM, then what does remain is I and C. We go to B. If we have actually picked T L E R, T L E R, what does remain is Y. We come here. We have a business. So we check what we have here. So section uh, set C is here. 
We check what has been written so far that is in it. We have R, we also have S. E R S. So what does it mean is A? We have B and W. Okay. So we've actually illustrated the, this information in the Venn diagram. Let's now answer the second question. The second question says, list the elements of the set A union C complement intersection C. Now, for you to be able to answer this question, what you really have to do is this. Let me show you this. You first of all have to list A union C. So set A is this one, and set C is that. So all the elements in set A and set C are these which are actually covered there. So uh, when they say find the complement of A, it is A union C, then you're looking for the elements which are not found in A union C, so it's Y. So A union C complement is equal to Y. Then the want us to find the intersection set of this set with C. So now C has the following elements. It has S, E, R, B, W, A. So what that is A union C complement intersection C. So we simply count to check what is common in these two sets. What is common in these two sets. So there is nothing common. So <clears throat> the answer is an empty set. Friends, that's how we got Look forward to new videos that I'm yet to roll out. So for you not to miss out, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. Don't forget to share the video with as many friends as you can.